Welcome back to Shadow Hearts, where video happens. <laughs> Would you like me to recap the recap? No, not this time. Um, yeah, so I just revealed that we've recorded this three times already. So, um, let's see. So this bandana is not something I should have gotten here. I'll tell you why. Because you're a cheat. I'm a cheating cheater face. Before I tell you that, though, have a look at the description on the bandana. Read this. Don't, you don't have to read it out loud, but... Oh uh, my. Yeah. So what happens is you remember the little test with the judgment ring that you have to do to get the handle? Yes. The reward you get for that is based on um, how well you do at that. And I had to re-record basically the entire game, and in my re-record I got it on the first try. So, so what you're telling me is it would have been only made by ten virgins. <laughs> exactly. No, um, what I should have gotten there was a mana seed, which is the second tier of recovery item. So you can watch Alice beat things with a book here if you'd like. That, that sounds cool. Or, you know, miss even though I didn't miss. <laughs> Look at the numbers go up. Oh man, it's been an entire week since I heard Brainhopper. <laughs> I usually listen to it before I do things just to hype myself up. That bass line, <laughs> man. Uh. So if you believe it or not, we're actually going to have real plot progress today. Nice. Also, I like how the spiders are just so twitchy. It's like, eh, eh, eh. That would be more impressive if you could see my head turning. Well, anyway, now we get soul energy from battles. That's what um, allows us to unlock tiers of fusion ability. I see. Each enemy you beat fills up a meter, and as you get more, the meter filled up. So, th is it elemental experience based on the enemy group, or based on what you last used? Based on the individual enemies themselves. Right. So hey, look, we found a town. That's a pretty poor-looking town. You have no idea. Uh, Muri seems to be all right with it, though. Oh, I was going to say, when's the mysterious voice getting here? So... Yeah, that's not exactly subtle. Man-eaters, they make you work hard, make you play hard. All caps, that means he's really mad. Again, this is how you spoil a first date. Yeah, except one thing. She hears the voices, too. It's like a match made in heaven. Oh, boy. <laughs> so she has detect evil? Is she a paladin? I, I think she needs to invest some levels in that. Because if she's a paladin, she needs to break out the holy sword and quit with this book nonsense. No, also because I honestly don't think a mysterious voice can have good intentions. Hey, you never know. <laughs> That's a really good question. I wonder if we'll ever find out. Is it anything to do with the fact that the mechanic of this game called Malice is one letter off from her name? <laughs> no, but, but here's me being the best mover in you know video game history. It's okay. Pathways are confusing. They are. How can you walk a straight line? I don't understand. So, I caught up with Kath the other night, and he told me Shadow Hearts 
It has blasphemous things in it. And icky exploitative things. Remind me why you decided this was a good thing you wanted to do. I like this game. Okay, that's that's good enough then. But don't worry, he he was a good calf and he didn't spoil anything for me, so. Yeah, except, you know, blasphemy and exploitativeness, I mean. <laughs> Literally, it was just that sentence. So it's okay. I didn't think he knew anything about that game. That game, like, it's we're not watching it right now. <laughs> oh, hey, look, um, things are happening. Uh, are these the village mid midget? They're children! What I'm is sorry. wrong with you? The, the descriptive text hasn't appeared yet. Jeez. Why would you have children be the gatekeepers? Why not? Also, is, is the translation meant to say clothed or can I you have just... no idea. <laughs> I do know Yuri doesn't like these kids. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I brightened things up after last time. Um, a little bit. I assumed it was the torches. Well, I, t I mentioned I had to re-record everything. I got into this town and kind of couldn't see half the town because it was too dark. Hmm. And of course, because it's an RPG, I wanted to talk to everything, because that makes exciting recordings. <laughs> so speaking of exploitativeness... That's a woman. <laughs> I'm just going to apologize to any women who happen to actually watch this for this entire video. <laughs> also, you can tell this game was made in 2001. They, um, Jeremy Blaustein put in a reference to... Um, Rush hour. <laughs> As is like, okay, I can use my feminine charms here. Nathan, stop being exploitative. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know how many people who are going to watch this have a history of watching our our stream, but I'm sure they'll agree I have never described a woman as juicy. So at least I'm better than the children. Yes. So, because Alice is a girl, they're gonna let us in the village. I still love, like, every animation every character does. Why is that in their Watch hands? Watch run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is clearly a bad idea, right? No, it's okay. They respect their women. They, they have Granny as the village leader, so it, it should be okay. So that just happened. So before we go talk to everybody, and we will talk to everybody, let's explore this gate a little bit. Sounds like a recovery item to me. So in spite of the gate opening inward, we can't open it. That's not hmm. ominous. So now let's talk to everybody. I love that every character it feels like you'll see has like an adjective to go with their name in this game or their gender in some cases. Hmm. Oh, this guy's got an accent. Yeah. <laughs> Blaustein, you should know better than that. Alright. <laughs> so... 
You're gonna start picking some stuff up. I'm gonna not tell you. But once again, here. Just... Ugh. I probably could have edited some of this, but I felt it important to set everything up. Fidgety pot-bellied man. That's a lot of adjectives. And he looks like the same sprite as every other dude in a green outfit. Well, at least he's the only one not talking about gender politics here. Frog-eyed man? Um... What? You starting to pick this up? Okay. Yeah. What? So, I'm going to talk to somebody because I forget that I talked to him. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, this town might have a dark secret of some sort. I'm not 100% yet. Well, I'm sure Granny Maya will fill us in. Warbling. Oh. Oh, okay. Um... No. Just no. Bad touch. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a thing. <laughs> That's much more interesting and important. I, 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 I wouldn't trust the tent that was anywhere near this lady, Morn. <laughs> oh. So you're starting to get kind of a handle on what this town's all about. The stock market. You got it, friend. <laughs> this is Wall Street. Don't you recognize it? Over if you look to your left, you'll find the ticker. <laughs> so let's save. I wonder how my base max stocks are doing. <laughs> In 1913? I'm pretty sure you're ahead of the times there with that. See, here I made a second save because I'm not that dumb. After having to re-record everything once, I'm like, no, that's just... Oh, hey, there's a dude. How do you know? It just calls them a peddler. So he's an outsider like we are. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and, you know, he's your first real... You know, RPG merchant. Mm. So this town gives me the creeps, but hey, I gotta think about profits. I so like the background here. So let's not buy anything from him. Oh yeah, because you already have... Oh, oh, a uh, silver hourglass. Oh, okay. Yeah, These look like interesting things. We'll be getting some later. I'm pretty sure I don't buy anything here. Yeah. Alright, so let's go back and check out the end of the town. See what's what. Oh, hey! <laughs> uh. Looks like it's all skulls to me. No, no, I see a rib cage. They, they could be more subtle about it. <laughs> Actually, you're going to be amazed because you're you're going to totally see Yuri and Alice be subtle. So I look forward to that. Okay. Why does this have to be the first town? 
Because this game really wanted to set itself apart from every other JRPG you've ever played. I see. Hey look, it's a guy you wouldn't have seen before, because he just happens to appear now. He calls every old man Pops, so I don't know if you can tell that. Alright, so I'm going to talk about this while you be unnerved, Nathan. If you, I... might, if you might guess, uh, the Black Tortoise is one of the four kind of... There's these beasts that recur in Asian mythology. Yes, and they're like guardians of the land, yes. Yeah, and they're directional based, so the Black Tortoise is Genbu. And then you have Byako the tiger, Seryu the dragon, and Suzaku the bird, right? Yes. So, we don't get them identified by name, but all four will, you know, be mm. in the game at some point, just because we have to have, like, every mythology. All religions are true. Ooh, Except hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy, I, I think you just let us on a, into a big secret there. <laughs> Is Yamaraja a mythological figure? Yamaraja is a boss. Right. I actually don't know. I should look that up to post a thing in the thread like I did for the train thing. I suppose if I knock over this shrine, he'll pop out and be angry. So yeah, um, if it helps... The reason they're all focused on Alice and the whole thing is because um, they think she tastes better. Being softer and more flavorful kind of thing. Mm. I didn't have any other plans tonight. <laughs> I mean, I thought I would just ride a train, punch a guy in the face, listen to a voice, and, you know, get eaten in a cannibal town. Thought that was a good way to spend my Tuesday. I mean, I can, re I can reattach my arm via green magic. I'll be okay. Yeah, you I don't know about. You were, able, you were put to sleep by a, you know, Jedi mind trick. I don't know about any of this. Oh, hey, look, it's the kids. Oh, no. I bet they've been discussing what part they want. <laughs> oh, it's possible. All right, so let's go meet Granny Mayor. I like that they just go. Just like, yeah, all right. I, f I feel like the scene at the shrine would have been better placed after meeting the Granny Mayor. Oh, the problem is you can't get in here until you go to the shrine. Also, juicy again. D well, yes, but... Apparently, Yuri's being sexist. Now here, I was I was talking about this. They they play this really subtle and I kinda like it. Mayor Lady. See, look, Alice is playing it all subtle, too. Because they don't want to let her know that they know the secret. Something like that. 
Although they, they, they don't really um, do go out of their way to hide it very much. Mm. <laughs> Semantics. So she's Yoda now. Eat your both, we will, yes. Mm. Hungry it makes me. Why are we still standing here as opposed to climbing over the fence? <laughs> oh, video games. Take a load off. <laughs> your, your kids. <laughs> Just that run. <laughs> you walked into the house. <laughs> at, least, at least Yuri isn't pretending it's not their own stupid fault. <laughs> I like that stomp too, just rah! <laughs> uh, the, the skirt twirling a minute ago was pretty nifty as well. But you could wake up in the cook cooking pot! So, hey, free heal. Oh, good. <laughs> By the way, we're faking. What's with the hair? One good trick deserves another. Exactly. Goblin rats? What the heck is that? Oh man, are we gonna see some Oni? We might. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. By the way, Morton's fork, right? <laughs> So basically, we've just doomed them. But they're pretty sure they doomed themselves. Um. So this line. <laughs> so battle time. Using exorcism moves because they're light elemental. Okay. For some reason, even though they're Hellcats. <laughs> wow! You did not let up. Well, no, that's what combat is. Although there's one problem, of course. Yuri is dark elemental. Oh, so he takes. Arbitrary amounts of damage. Yep. Alice is light elemental, so this is actually really awkward. Well, that's okay. You should be able to deal arbitrary amounts of extra damage with your punch, yeah? Yeah, it's, it cuts both ways. Hey, look at the detail.
She's in trouble. Let's use our magic. She's a white mage. Yay. Oh, you that's me bad. It. Enough playing around. Time to whole count. True power of darkness. Oh, you got that one right on the bill. I do try. It's why I miss so often. Somehow that wasn't enough. But we have extra magic defense, so let's just kill it. You notice that even the enemies have these, um, you know, we're nearly dead. Kind of we're nearly dead, dead, so yeah, stumble around a bit, show that you do acknowledge the pain. Yeah. Yeah. See? Light energy. So at some point, I take it, you're going to be able to go and farm the energy of the kind that you want. Mm, something like that. Obviously not right away, because we're too early in the video game for that, but... You're making an awful lot of assumptions, Yuri. He's like that. Unless the sounds on the ground are different now, and the place looks a bit different. Hmm. Welcome to Xiaoyang Village! <laughs> so this is a creepypasta then, is it? It's a sea of hyper-realistic blood. Zhou Yang means business. So, let's go ahead and use a healing item. Because we have plenty. Can't we just actually sleep in the Elder's bed? No, not anymore. Oh. So, let's go back and check out that shrine again, quote unquote. Your beloved children, huh? Endless procession of fiends. We had to fight two cats. The worst. The will of the great Yamaraja. So, Yuri seems to think that I had a good idea earlier. Oh, he's like that. Hey, more malice. Lady, you seem to overestimate. Oh, by the way, name has changed. <laughs> but as I was saying, she seems to overestimate Yuri's 
ability to kill old people. Overestimate? I figured she underestimated it. That's the word I meant. Well, morning never comes. What do we do then? <laughs> well, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat lady. <laughs> So that cat ladies just had like 50 or 60 cats in their house, not ladies who yeah. were cats. The, the, this turned from something genuinely creepy into a, you know, chase the villain scene in Scooby-Doo. <laughs> like zoinks, a pile of skulls is wriggling, Scoob! <laughs> Uh-oh, smiling skulls. Battle. Hey look, it's an endless procession of fiends. <laughs> okay. That seems a bit of a powerful attack there. Yeah. Fortunately, they are kind of glass cannons themselves, so... Oh, come on, really? They really want to taste the... Yeah, they do. It's awkward. Is that like an actual thing they're programmed to do? No, I don't think so. Because I love it when games, you know, integrate the story and gameplay like that. Um, something worth noting is the characters in the game have different voices in the cutscenes when they're voiced than in the battles. They used the original Japanese lines for most of the characters in battle, with one exception. Well, okay, two. Are we about to see one of them today? Uh, no, we won't see them for a while. Sorry. It's just, if you compare um, Alice here using magic to uh, her saying, it's you in the start, it's a very different voice. Well, it's probably the adrenaline of combat rushing through them. It, it, it makes them, you know, shout things that they, they would never say in regular day-to-day -day conversation. All right, so we gotta end this battle fast because we do not want Alice to go berserk. Um, that'll do. Berserk. Uh, I mentioned yet last time. See, I knew you didn't remember that characters have a limited number of sanity points, the SP on the end, and if they lose them all, oh. they go berserk and attack anyone and everyone indiscriminately. You lose control. I remember that now, but I was like, wait, berserk, I... Okay. Is this going to be a thing every part? Like... Shush. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. So she's a stooge. Come on, we just want to make it to the save point. You're actually right, that's exactly what I wanted. The save points are a bit touchy, so yeah, I kind of have to make sure I'm on them. Hey, there's that tent we got. Yay. Upon close inspection, it's made out of skin. Ah! Hyper-realistic skin? No. Cartoon meat on a bone skin. Oh! Oh, I thought there might be a thing here. I was wrong. How about you step towards her before you say you're going to get her? Poof.
twice does not make a pattern. Hey, twice is... Or once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, three times is enemy action. Hmm. Oh, hey! Okay. Are, are these some... Chinese monks now? Well, one is. <laughs> so, this guy talks a lot of nonsense. One squiggle years ago. <laughs> yeah, you could have chosen a better font, Blaustein. Uh, who's <laughs> that with you? What? I dig this music, too. This seems called Asian Parfait, believe it or not. Wait, wait, how did these two get in? You know, maybe the game will tell you. I know it won't open from this side, at least. Of course, he has to kick it again to be sure. <laughs> wind of Heaven? He didn't say anything about Wind of Heaven. Yui is a seasoned traveler. He, he he knows the crazy religions and folks folk tales. I I guess. I'd rather poke fun at Jeremy Blaustein's translation and inconsistencies. Is that so wrong? Yes. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> we had to have two kids let us in, so. But we never actually touched the gate before then, so... We just assumed because there were these two kids hanging around that we had to have permission. So now he's going to actually get names from people? We are the most polite JRPG protagonists ever. Sort of. <laughs> hey look, it's a character name entry. I wonder what that means. Zhuzhen, something like that. I can't pronounce it. It, it means that all my dreams have come true. Oh. <laughs> So he's, he's not actually that humble and holy. No, actually, he's kind of a mercenary. He's kind of a um, exorcist for hire. <laughs> they were starting to complain about the smell. <laughs> smells like cat over there. Can you do something? Quite unique, as opposed to just simply unique. It's extremely unique. <laughs> one might even say it's one of a kind unique. <laughs> uh, so this guy... But wait! If you order now, I'll throw in another one for free! So, this is weird, okay? This, this dude does acupuncture, right? Yeah. Which is... I don't know how familiar you are, you are with the concept, but you put needles in somebody's skin and it causes them to suddenly feel less pain. Um, yeah, people do it on their spine and things like that. It's a... Ex except the expedition here seems to... Have nothing be... to do with acupuncture. Y yes, he, he seems to be implying that he's a blacksmith. So... Yeah. We're not going to deal with this guy right now. We'll deal with him later when we have better weaponry. <laughs> You'll love the way I assist. The short form is you can get him to raise your attack power with the weapon you have equipped. 
at the expense of um, shrinking the hit areas of the Judgment Ring, or you can raise the hit areas of the Judgment Ring. Or both. So is he actually a combat guy that takes damage, or...? Uh, the, ac the quote, acupuncturist guy? No. Hmm. However, Pops here, Master Zhu Zhen is. That's why we got a name window for him. He's the best monk. He, he doesn't seem to realize he's negotiating with someone who turns into demons. Well... I still can't pronounce his name. Susie? Susie, sure. It's Susie from now on. <laughs> Susie had a steamboat. The steamboat was the master of the nine heavens. So it's a pressure cooker? I am just loving the music. Yeah, I, I, I was telling you about it. Asian Parfait, it's one of the best songs in the whole game. Do, do we get to hear it a lot now that he's with us? Uh, not a lot, but we'll hear it whenever like certain things happen. Sometimes it's you know, the happy music. Apparently meeting these two is a happy moment. Again, I feel this would have been better paced before meeting the Gran and having her be like, Ah, I'm the one you have to chase down. Well, it all does come together. Just stand by the reverse seal. <laughs> He is apparently very good at dodging monsters. The easiest punk acupuncturist. Yeah. So, alright. We now have Zhu Jin. Let's have a look at him. He came in here with only the shirt on his back. And his staff. Oh hey, let's let's see what you can do in battle, shall we? Please, let's do. Oh hey, this looks familiar. I actually left this encounter in because it's the first time we met him, you know, in battle. Oh. Oh goodness. So if you didn't realize, um, being a Taoist apparently makes you an extremely powerful black mage. The Toe of Vivi. I, I, I immediately get the feeling we can't keep him long. Well, we'll see. We certainly gotta name him. In any case, hey, here's this again. It's the smell of a monk! <laughs> oh, I, that old man smell gets me every time! I, again, seem to keep thinking I can find something when I can't. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you've played this game half a dozen times before. Well, it's been a few years. All right, so let's go back in the house, finally. And Susie's decision is no. Behind the scenes. Mm. 
we cornered you into your house. Poof. So much for this. So... That's, again, the power of the toe of Vivi. You can feel presences, I guess? Wind of the heavens! Show me the secret formula. Alright, so this is... <laughs> Why would you just happen to have cat in this point? <laughs> and we got an item. So how come it's powder but it's leaves? Just add water. Actually, we probably should add fire. She knew I had the goods. <laughs> So it turns out it's there's another reason why he carries his stuff. I like that cat people are just an ordinary part of this world, by the way. Cat cat people are ordinary enough that you have to take defensive measures. Yep. A quote metal vessel. I need a torch, whatever that is. Find these two things, and I will form alchemy. Alright, so... That appears to be our quest. We need to go find a metal vessel and a torch somewhere in the village. And we'll be doing that next time. <laughs>